network engineers have long used serial interface cards such as the older style WIC 1T made by Cisco and the newer style WIC 2T made by Cisco to connect routers in a back-to-back -back configuration. The older style WIC 1T has what's called an LFH60, it's a high density 60 pin serial connection, and the newer style WIC 2T used two higher density small connectors that are 26 pin each to get two connectors on a single card. Depending on which card you're using will also dictate the type of cable that you need. Often, folks will revert to using existing cables that they have around their environment. In this case, this are two male to female V.35 cables with smart serial connectors on each end. Using the V.35 connector, DTE to DCE, an engineer can obtain the desired clocking that they're trying to get in order to connect two routers in back-to-back -back configuration, smart serial to smart serial. These could have e easily been a WIC 1T or an LFH60, the larger style connector on this end, to go LFH60 to smart serial. If we move over here, you'll see that we've solved this problem by offering cables that are custom designed to connect the routers in the lab environment in this back-to-back -back configuration, whether you're going smart serial to smart serial or LFH60, the older style WIC 1T, to smart serial, which is the newer style WIC 2T. And we can also allow you to select which end the clocking will appear on, DTE or DCE. We also offer the cables in the older style, LFH60, to LFH60, again, DTE to DCE. And within the connections between the older style WIC 1T, we offer DCE on the WIC 1T end, down to DTE on the smart serial end, and also we offer DTE on the WIC 1T end, down to smart serial DCE connection. Using these cables, enables you to save space and time in your lab environment. These cables are available in a variety of lengths and custom lengths are also available. Thanks for watching.